Hello, teacher Maggie here. Let's talk about the rewards we give to the students. So, let's start. Number one for me. What do you see behind me? I made a little monster and this monster really, really loves candy. So, whenever the student does really well, we say, let's feed the monster. So, I have little magnets, different colors, so you can say, oh, let's take a blue candy and feed the monster, and so on. You can also practice the colors by asking the student to choose whether they want a yellow or a blue candy, and so on. Um, it's really easy to make. So this is the magnetic whiteboard, and it's made out of some pieces of foam. Oh, and the glittery one as well. Kids love the glittery stuff. Uh, some googly eyes. Everything is really cheap to find and, and so easy to make. You just cut it out. On the back, it's really ugly. It's all taped and whatnot, <laughs> but they never see that. And then you have a little magnet to attach it to the board. Ta-da! Okay, number two. Ooh, let's see, what do we have number two? Yes, also related to kind of feeding, <laughs> not the monster, but ah, a cat. So you can ask the students to guess, oh, what animal is this? Sometimes they are thinking it's a tiger. Well, it does look a bit like a tiger, but nevertheless, it's really interesting. Uh, for them, and then, hmm, what do we feed the cat with? Oh, how about some fish? Oh, it's a big fish. So, whenever they do a good job, we feed the cat. Ooh, yum, 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 yum. It's a good idea to do these funny sounds of chewing and eating. They really, really love that, and they laugh like crazy. So, you can make different cardboard fish. See, something like that. Also the cat, it's just a drawing on a piece of cardboard, attached with magnets to the whiteboard. Ta-da! Oh, I dropped a fish. There we go. So it looks in the end something like oh, a mouthful of fish. Okay. The reward mm, number three. This is one of my most favorite ones, I'd say, because kids adored it. Now, the thing is, I love uh, snorkeling and collecting seashells. So what do I do? I would say, okay, let's go for a hunt. Wow, look at that. What is it? A big seashell. So, each time they do a good job, I pretend I would go diving. I pretend to put the mask on. I go diving and I come back with a new shell. So, see, I have a whole collection of different ones and I... I make sure to turn them around so they really are eyes this big and super interested in and expectant of whoa, what's going to come next, which one? So these are just some shells that I have in my collection, but actually you can buy them and they're fairly cheap to buy. Um, I didn't buy these, I had them because I, I've been collecting them since since I was a kid. So you can just show them all of these different ones and tell them, oh, seashells, Woo, good job, buddy. Okay, now, number, what is it, four, I think? I think, okay, so number four is the recent one I did. Again, some animals, if they do good. I showed them a shark. Now, this is also very good for body parts. Because we can ask them, oh, what's this? It's a mouth. And teeth. Is it 
big or small mouth? And they would say big mouth. So for this one as well, you can kind of make it pop out like this. And then you say, oh, what's this? A little yellow fish. <gasps> Let's feed the shark. <gasps> Again, the funny sound of chewing noise. So you can make different kinds of fishes that would go ooh, inside the mouth. They loved it. Absolutely loved it. And it's also very easy to make. This is cardboard, some glittery foam attached to a plastic um, container, whatever. You can find these, I'm sure, when you finish eating some kind of, this was, I think, cheese inside, but not. You just attach it, make a hole here, and ta-da, you have a sharky mouth. So, hope you enjoyed. These are my favorite reward systems so far, and the ones where I saw the most engagement from the kids. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, hello, treasure. Good. Well done. Okay, would you like some real treasure? Yes. Yes? Okay, I think you need four gold coins. So let's count. One. Two. Three. And four. four. Good. Well done. Now you've got real treasure. Good. That's Let's count. How many stars do you have? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, five, five, six, six. Um, six plus no, nineteen. Nineteen? Wow, fantastic. Well done, Amy. That's very, very good. That's fantastic. Okay, so you did so well today. Would you like some bubbles? Would you like some bubbles? Yes. Let's see if I can make some bubbles for you, Tia. Are you watching? Ah, bubbles! Yay! Bubble. <laughs> bubbles for Tia! That's it! Well done! That was very good! Hey, what colour star would you like? Blue, please. Blue, please? Okay, would you like light blue or dark blue? Oh. oh, a dark blue star, please. A dark blue. Yeah, a dark blue star, please. Dark blue. Okay, wonderful. There we go. A dark blue star for Tia. There we go. So, here is a star chart. You see it says there, Jerry's star chart. Okay, and I wanted to hear some full sentences. Okay, so I think I heard one full sentence, two full sentences, three full sentences, and four. So, well done. Good for you. I heard four full sentences. Okay, good. Next time, we're going to say more full sentences. Okay, girl, I'm so proud of you. So you definitely get some happy monkey time. <laughs> so very happy monkey. Well done. Very good. <laughs> yes, it's a happy monkey. There we go, Troy. <gasps> How many stars do you have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, 
Red. You'd like another red star? Oh, okay. What color is what color is this star? Red. red. What color are these stars? Green. Green. Okay, we're going to count them, Michael. Let's count. Okay, one, two, two three, three, four, one. five. Six, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, ten, eleven. And now we're going to give you number twelve. I just need a red star. Mm -hmm. Heard a lot of full sentences. So that's really, really good, Jerry. So you are going to get your medal, your award. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> There's your reward, Jerry. <laughs> Good. Well done. Okay. Okay. That's great. Okay, that's great. I'm proud of you. Well done. I love to hear the full sentences. That's awesome. Okay, Jerry, high five. Bye. Good. High five and goodbye for now. Bye. See you next time. Hello, everybody. This is Scott, uh, and I'm going to show you a couple of my favorite reward games. It's really games that I play with my students to make the lesson interesting and exciting. So the first one is this one where I tell them, all right, if you manage to get 15 points or more, I'll give you the big trophy. If you only get between 10 and 14, it's the medal. Uh, and if it's less than 10, then I give you the little small trophy, which never happens. So during my lesson, I pull up this PowerPoint and I ask them, choose your number. And then they choose number three. I said, all right, what does number three give you? Ah, two gold pots. And then I would give them a two gold pots, which is hiding over here. So there's one and there's two. All right, choose another one, choose another one. And then they say, all right, number five. I say, okay, what's number five? What's number five? Oh, it's four points. And that's a nice uh, bag of money for you. Four points. And here we go. So. There's one, two, three. Let me just get this right. One, two, three, four points. So already there is six points waiting for them. So this is full of different number of prizes that they will get. I'll just show you here. There's a five. Oh, there's only one ice cream. So I usually only give them six chances to choose between all eight. And... And hopefully they can get to 15 points. Like I said, if they only get 14 into 14, I'll give them the silver medal. That is game number one. Game number two, uh, it's a lovely game. I call this the clock dice game. So again here, I will give them the gold medal if they get more than 12 points. I will give them the silver medal if they have less than 12 points. How it works is I roll the dice, or they roll the dice, actually I ask them to click, and they click, 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 what do we get here? Oh, it's a number one. Oh, that's the best one, because number one means they can roll the dice and see how many points they get. How many points, how many points are they going to get? They get two points. What would you like? Oh, I would like hamburger. So there's one, and there's your second hamburger. We carry on with the lesson. Time to score some points again. So click the dice. Here we go. Here we go. What are you going to get this time? Number three. Ah, number three. Three points. So I'm going to give you, what do you want? Hamburger, pizza. What pizza, please? One, two, three pizzas. There you go. Obviously, my favorite is if they do happen to hit number two. Oh, it's a little thief. And here comes the little thief. And he's going to... He's going to take a little burger away from them. 
So you don't want to throw number two and number five. You can see it's, it's a bomb. There's no price. So again, um, they might get also maybe eight uh, chances or so during the lesson to score points. And uh, hopefully they get their, their gold medal. I will show you option number three. And I think this is my favorite and also the children's favorite. This is um, if they have a choice of three um, superheroes. Sometimes I change it into animals. Depends on if it's children or smaller children. So my student is Albert. Albert, which one would you like to be? And they all go for Spider-Man. It's I would want to go Spider-Man. Right, there's Spider-Man. And then I will teach. I will teach the Hulk. There's Hulk. So Hulk plays for gold, and Spider-Man plays for diamonds. I buy Iron Man. Now how this would work is this is a steal game. We're gonna steal each other's points. So this is a lovely one. Albert gets the first chance. And again, this is throughout the lesson. Uh, sometimes after three, four slides, I stop and do this. Oh, and Albert scored big here because he can steal five of my points. There we go. And um, that one is stuck. There we go. Three, four, five. There goes the little thief. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. And we carry on with the lesson. Now it's my turn. It's the Hulk's turn. Get to roll the dice. How many is the thief going to steal? <gasps> yeah, big one for teacher Scott. Oh, he's very happy because he's going to take six of your points, Spider-Man. And uh, there we go. Uh, the kids love it. If, uh, if they obviously get the big number and I get the small one, which happens, funny enough, more often than not. So we'll continue to do this again, or maybe five times each time. Whenever he gets a chance, it's my turn, and we'll swap. I'll make sure that everybody gets the same chance. And um, at the end of the day, we see who ends up with the most points. And if Spider-Man did get the most points, well done, Spider-Man. Here is your prize, and I will give you a big Treasure chest full of gold. Excellent, Spider-Man, and well done. So that's my most popular three games that I play. I also have three games with the junior ones. Sometimes I feel you need to split the uh, type of games with smaller ones and younger ones, and I will quickly show you my three options that I do have for the smaller ones. It's going to come up right this minute. Here we go. Uh, this is called... I have my own names for this. This is called What is Behind the Hat. Usually what I will do is I will take a picture of their faces. I'm going to take my own one. Well, there we go. And I'll, I'll put them in here. And I just ask them to tell me, stop. If it goes like this. Tick, 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 tick. Then they say, stop. And I say, oh, what's behind this hat? What do you get? What do you get? It is a bicycle. And hopefully they jump out of the seat. And we carry on doing this. Tick, tick, tick. Say, stop, stop. Hey, what's behind this hat? Oh, money, 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 money. And we carry on. I'll just quickly show you what's behind all the hats. It's a present. Hey, what's behind the present? Gold. I got a soccer ball. It's a hamburger for you. It's basketball. Do you like to play basketball? Do you like to eat hamburgers? Whenever I stop with one of these prizes, I ask him, do you like it? Do you use it? Oh, do you eat cake? Yes, of course I eat cake. And for the big reward, this is what they're going to get. What's behind this hat? One, two, open. Let's open it. What is this here? Also, a nice big treasure chest full of gold. That's the one game. Second game, we all love snakes and ladders. We all know this. So here I will give them a choice. Which character would they like? And again, Sometimes it's birds like this. Sometimes it's animals. I can have a Spider-Man and a Hulk here as well. Um, they like the angry bird. So bye-bye yellow one, bye-bye blue one. I will make this boy a little bit smaller, obviously. And now it is just like a normal snakes and ladders game. I'll bring up the dice. They get to roll the dice. And we know how the game works. Five. Oh, that's a nice one. Up for the ladder. And... Um, when they get to the end, I don't let them go uh, like the normal games. I let them jump off the board, and I will give them a nice big trophy. There we go. Here's your trophy. Thank you for playing.
And then the last one is, oh, we've got three characters here and each one will get a chance to get points or food for them. So again, the student will roll this bunny, your turn. I'll do this with everyone. You've got five points. There's the first one already, two, three, four, five. There we go. I carry on with my lesson. Now it's my little, I tell them it's a squirrel, it's a chipmunk, but a chipmunk is a bit hard sometimes for them. So the green man is going to get hot dogs. You can see why he likes hot dogs. Yeah. So, oh no, just one point for the green squirrel. All right. Oh, there's your, your hot dog already. So I'm going to leave it for one. There you go. And here comes the gorilla. How many points can the gorilla get? Let's see, let's see. Oh, I get six. Oh, and he's very happy. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I will throw out the lesson. I will probably do this three times. And let's see which character gets the most points. And at that particular point, I will give that character the trophy. Uh, let's say it was the gorilla. So gorilla, here we go. You get the big trophy. And that is my reward systems. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Good luck, everybody. Thank you for Hello Kit. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Yeah, way to go, William. Here is a fan for you. Perfect. <laughs> what is this? Ice cream! <laughs> Ice cream! Just like this one. Here you go, William. <laughs> Hello. Hello.
I need to go now. <laughs> wow, Alice, thank you so much, but I'm still hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so hungry. <gasps> wow! Oh, yay! Hooray! <laughs> 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 Great job, Alice. This is awesome. No. High five. Nah. <laughs> what? Uh, I like that. I like that one. I like that plan for the future. Perfect. Keep it. <laughs> Keep that plan. Wonderful job, Alice. What? The the dog. Dog. <laughs> Great job, Elsa! Yeah. Perfect! Mwah, Katie! No, <laughs> A monkey! Oh, well done, Katie! Well done! Mwah. Perfect! Yay! Ice! Mwah! Bye bye! Bye bye! Hi! I am Teacher Manny. And today I'm going to show you my reward systems. Uh, the first one I have right here are these happy faces and happy stars, which I will use them with my demo students, my demo lessons. Usually when they perform well, when they say something good, I will give them whether a happy star or a happy face. But I also will try to keep them in a place where they will see what they are achieving, what they are reaching. So this is basically what I use for the demo lessons. For my regular classes, since I have them every week, I don't want to use the same reward and system because I don't want them to get bored. So what I do is right here on the Classine app, I have some pictures I already have uploaded to my cloud. So what I would do is I would use something different in every lesson so students get excited. For example, look at the first one I, I have right here. This is a tree. So what I will do is I will have my students, every time they perform well, I will give them whether an apple. So let me have the apple. Or a banana. Let me also find the banana. Okay, here they are. So what I will do is I will copy and paste so I have some of them of each and every time student perform well I will ask them whether they want a banana or an apple so we'll go in filling out the tree with different fruits so that way students feel you know they are really getting something in return uh, of this kind I have a lot of different reward systems I also have some reward system like this going to the beach for this one i might use the car the same one i showed you before maybe i can use the boy the super boy if it is uh if my student is a boy or i have also a girl a super girl if my student is a girl so basically it depends on the number they get when they throw the dice uh, they will advance one two three four and five until they reach the end which is like when they finally get to the beach or arrive to the beach of this kind I have a lot of more since I don't have that much time I also have like uh, walking in the forest I have uh, uh, treasure hunting uh, for this one I will use I, I will use a ship let me just show you this one um, okay okay so for this one, I will use a picture of a ship. So, you know, same thing. They throw the dice, the number. This one is a little bit more challenging and exciting because if they, if they land on number six, they have to go back. But if they land on number 12, they can move on to 16 and from 16 to 19. So they feel like, you know, they feel the, the excitement of of uh, getting the rewards because they really want to get to the treasure i also have well i have a lot of different ones of this kind so basically that's what i do for my students especially for my regular students 
so they don't get bored of seeing the same thing every time over and over again. Well, that's everything so far. Thank you for this opportunity. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm teacher Daniels, and today I'm going to talk about the rewards. A teacher always has to praise them, encourage them, and reward them. And the rewards should be actually physically visible for them. So, I have several ways of rewarding my students and I change them all the time and I'm using different things every lesson. Here you can go nuts and be as much creative as you want to be. So, the first thing is a sad panda story. There is a panda and the panda is very sad because it wants to have a candy but a candy is too far from panda and the panda can't really reach the candy can you help your panda to get the candy and every time your student gives you the right answer or does something you ask them to do you just lift your panda one step up and you can't even imagine how happy they are gonna be when they finally get to the candy. You will see all their emotions on their faces. Another thing I love using is the sun reward. As you see, the sun is broken, but what they have to do is they have to fix the sun like this you can either take away all the rays from the sun and make them put them back or leave some for them and they are gonna earn some rays like this but the main thing is when the sun is ready make them count how many do you have and it's actually better to place the sun somewhere that they can see it. So on the wall or on the board, I usually use my board for that, like this. So your student will actually remember how good they are at the lesson. Well, another way to reward well, actually, it works with young learners, but it's really cool uh, because it works with them. It's a pizza story. So you give them pizza every time you're happy with their answers, like this, and you collect the whole pizza from little pizza slices. And then by the end of the lesson, you can as well count the pizza slices or just show them how big their pizza is. And one of my favorite ways to reward them is this one. So you can show them the picture and if you feel like your student is able to answer basic questions, you can ask them. Uh, like, what do you see in the picture? Uh, they usually would reply, I see a cat, and blah, blah, blah. So, but the good thing about this picture is they have to decorate the sky and they can do it the way they want to. So you let them choose whether they want to get a moon or a star and you just place it here in the picture like this. So by the end of the lesson, they are gonna have a picture that they designed by themselves. They're usually very happy. So as you see, you can use your imagination to create your own way to reward your student. Just be as creative as you want to be. 
Thank you for your attention. Bye.